Hey everyone, Cody here, and today we are going to do a splash painting um, where you simply splash the paint on the paper. Uh, you'll notice that my paper is actually horizontal as opposed to vertical today because the design that we're going to try to make um, goes better this way, although you could make it the other way. Now I'm hoping that this turns out okay. I actually don't know exactly because I've never done one so small, but we're going to try. So, uh, of course, we're going to start. Oh, let's talk about the colors real quick and then I'll take my paper down. Uh, so we've got watercolor paper just as a heads up. I would recommend acrylic paper, but I have a ton of this, so I'm using it up. We've got a dark gray. Uh, it's called Jet, I believe. It's simply just a dark gray, white, black, and then a bright red. So. Let's go ahead and get into the painting. Now, this painting is based on another artist um, that I've seen. His name is Ed. Um, his handle is called Suarez. If you look on YouTube, you can actually find him. It's uh, S-W-A-R-E-Z. He's a professional painter out of the UK. I think out of Gloucester. Gloucester? Gloucester? I, I honestly don't know how you say that, but anyway. Um, phenomenal painter, like professional as in like that's all he does is, is sell paintings and they are just amazing. But anyway, I saw on his Instagram and he's done, he had done a painting like this uh, a few years ago. Actually, I mean, he's done a few like this but, and they look really cool. Uh, basically what it is, is it's a painted background with kind of a gradient almost. And then he has like these splash marks of different colors. So we're gonna try to do that today. Now we've got our surface down, we've got our paper down, and I think that if I can get it correct and it looks good, maybe we'll do it on a bigger canvas, like one of these two by fours I've got sitting around. So we'll put on our lady gloves here because they totally fit exactly with, you know, no deviation in the size. Thank you, wife, for these lady gloves. And, you know, we do, I, they, they're better than nothing. I do have to give her credit. I'm grateful she, she tried. Um, they're just, just, you know, just a little, just a little snug. Just a little snug. All right. Well, we've got them on. They'll, they'll suffice. Because uh, we, it's better to have the gloves then to get this paint on your skin because it does not come off at least not for days even after scrubbing okay so let's get into it here's what we're going to do we are going to do a lot of dark gray this is going to be our background this dark gray okay so we're basically going to kind of do it all over the place uh, we may use water if we need to but i i'm going to try to not use water we are going to get a brush here and this brush all my brushes are stiff because I left them in water and uh, and then the water dried up so they paint brushes dried out so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna slide these bad boys over here and we're gonna make it light to dark so I'm gonna do dark on the bottom so I'm gonna add a little bit of black just a little bit and we're gonna add a little of white to the top just so that when we mix these colors um, it kind of lightens them up, right? <clears throat> so we're going to start in the middle and we're going to do some simple brush strokes. I can almost guarantee any more paint. It's, it's, it's kind of dry. Uh, well, obviously the paper is dry, but it's warm outside too. So that's probably going to affect it. So let's go ahead and get our surface. We're just going to do simple brush strokes. We're going to do these little kind of jagged brush strokes. And then we're going to work our way up to pull the gray, that light gray up, okay? So we've got the white in there, okay? And then we'll then kind of work those in and then we'll work the black. And there it is. And I kind of like to give it a flare, so like almost like you're flicking it. Um, and there's a little bit of white, so we're, we'll just kind of 
brush that in and pull that out and maybe kind of maybe get those to blend <clears throat> just a little bit perfect it actually looks really good okay so we've got our background oh, we got a little bit of oh we picked up a little bit of the light gray so i'm gonna try to pull a little bit of that into the darker area beautiful 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 background okay so we're good we're gonna put our paintbrush in water so it can soak now comes the interesting part now we're gonna do splashes and we're gonna do the the white, the black, and the red. Now, we're going to start with the black to give us kind of the shadow almost, and then we will go into white and then red. So, I've already, my paint is already just a little bit diluted, just, just a tiny bit. Um, so, what I'm gonna do is just put some paint in my cup. I don't want too much. Um, I suppose I could just kind of dip it in there, but that's going to be really messy. So, eh, no, I think we're okay. So we'll just kind of drizzle it in there. I actually don't know how much I need for a painting this size, so I might want to stop there. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to do kind of splashes, right? So... Okay, now that's a lot of paint in a little area, so it actually is apparently too much paint. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to move it around with our dryer thing, heat gun. So we'll see if we can move it around. It doesn't look like it wants to move. So what we can try to do is maybe use the paint stick to kind of drag out some of this paint. And just maybe kind of make a design where it's kind of uh, erratic. So we've got kind of an interesting design going here. So let's see if we can get it to dry. Now I don't need it to dry completely. I just need it to kind of form some skin so that we can put the next layer on top. It's funny, I can see it drying. I know you can't really see it in the video, but the color is changing when it dries. It goes from like a really shiny color to like a really flat color. I don't know how to explain it. <clears throat> All right, so I think we did too much, um, obviously. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do less, do less paint. So we're just gonna dribble, drizzle some in there. Drizzle. Uh, we'll try that. So just a tiny, tiny bit. And
and then we'll add our red. Well, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't. It uh, it's sad because the background turned out pretty decent, but the overall painting, I don't like. Let me peel this paint or this tape off, and I'm just gonna do it while it's still wet. I, I kind of don't really care. I don't like the painting. So I think if the black hadn't, uh, if I hadn't used too much, it might have been a better painting. It's got an interesting background, but I really don't like it. Um, so kind of a note for the future. Uh, too much. It's too much paint for that. So, you know, we'll just kind of keep that in mind and move on next time. So let me go ahead and show you guys the final product. All right, so this is the final painting. Again, I don't really like it. I think it was too overpowering. Maybe next time we'll just use a little bit less. It's interesting. I just think that it's just too overpowering with the that dark, those dark splotches. So maybe next time we'll just do kind of like we did with the other one where it's drizzle, but a little more action and just kind of layer it like that so it's not so thick. But you know, that's, that kind of happens, and, you know, we just take it with a grain of salt, and we move on to the next one. So, anyways, that's it, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye, guys.